What's up, YouTube? It's Chance Cannon. Back with another video, man. So today is Sunday. And we're going to get right into it. We got our first job. It's at an apartment. So I'm getting ready to head out. But before I get into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to get into the video, man. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm on the way to the first job. It's looking like it's an apartment. So, so far, so good, man. Them apartments, most of the time, they be pretty easy. So I'm hoping this one's going to be pretty easy. But, um, look like I'm gonna have to get some gas too, but I was gonna slow down on that. Always a train track right there. But yeah, it's looking like I'm gonna have to get some gas, but I think I can make it to the first job. So when I make it there, I hit y'all back. All right, so we back. I just finished the first job. Sorry I wasn't able to, you know, record anything. It's like her apartment was like right in the front. Like as soon as I parked. Right in front, so I wasn't able to record nothing. So now we finna head to the next job. Let's see what they got for your boy, man. Okay, it's looking like it's a house and it's at 12. So we finna head that way. But before I head that way, I'm finna find a restroom, man. I gotta use it. So whenever I make it to the first job, I hit y'all back. So I just got to the second job and it's looking like a dog chewed out their cable. So what we gonna do, we pretty much just gonna cut that little piece off and then put a new cable line right there and all the services should come back. But so I'm coming to my van because I gotta get some, some beehive bug spray. Cause they got a big ass beehive. So that's what I'm doing now. This job is looking like it's gonna be pretty simple. So keep my fingers crossed, man. One thing with Spectrum, you never know. It always looks like it's easy, and then it gets harder. So we're going to see. Once I figure out the situation and what I'm going to do, i hit y'all back, man. All right, so, so far, so good. I just tested, you know, the line that I cut off and put a new line on. So it's looking like that's what we're going to do. We're going to replace that, put a new wall plate on, and they should be up back and running, man. It's looking like it's going to rain. I hope not, though. At least wait till I'm off, you feel me? So yeah, I'm getting a new wall plate and then we're gonna go back and hook everything up. Hopefully we can get out of here, get another job. I was gonna take a lunch early, but I'm gonna wait till the Cowboys start playing. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go to lunch. Oh, drop a comment down below and tell me what your favorite NFL football team is. Mine's is the Cowboys, what's yours? I've been keeping up with me in my videos. I always tell you, if you're going to put a new line through a wall, always grab a fish tape, man. I thought I could get it without doing it, but it's not going to work. Get that old trusty fish tape right here. And it never fails, man. Makes the job so much easier. Man, so I'm back in the van. So we switched all that out and got them back up and running. Now, this was a problem right here. It looked like a dog chewed on it. That's what it said on the note, so... I just switched that out and they're backing up and running. Now, anytime something like that happened where it's a customer's fault, nine times out of 10, you're gonna get charged for it because you know it was your fault. So I'm finna close this job out. I'm finna just type in what I did. Change, I changed the wall plate. And I changed the line out. You see, when I make my videos, I do everything live so you guys can see what it go, what I, you know, what I go through on a daily basis. You feel me? So once we do that, we're gonna upload. And then we're gonna put in, you know, you always on always at the last part, you're gonna put in whether you're gonna charge them or not. So I'm putting this in and then we're gonna wait on the next job, man. So when, when I get the next job, I'll be right back with you. All right, so we got our next job. And let's see how far it's away. Head okay, west so it's a 23 minute drive. drive. I'm finna drive out there. And when I make it, I'll be right back with you. All right, so I'm on the way to the next customer. So I'm gonna tell y'all about my experience then with the first customer. 
So I get to the first customer's house and she just started like rapid firing questions on me back to back to back to back, making me nervous. I can tell she was nervous, but it's no need to make me nervous too, you know? I'm here to help you. But yeah, that's one thing about working with Spectrum, dealing with these customers. You always gotta remain calm, you know? But like I was saying, I'm on the way to the next job. So when I get there, I get back with you. All right, so we just made it to the customer's crib. I just parked. I'm finna set my cones out and we're gonna see, you know, what we can get into, man. Hopefully it's something simple and we roll on to the next job, man. So we're back at it, man. We're at the customer's uh, crib right now. So right now what I'm finna do is run some tests and then we'll go from there. So he was saying that um, his internet was going in and out basically. So I'm thinking I'm gonna switch this splitter out right here. This splitter. For this new one that I got. And then hopefully, I'm thinking that that's what the problem is. Cause all this stuff looks pretty old. It says Tom Warner on it. And you know, we're Spectrum now. So I'm thinking that's what the problem is. So I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna go from there. One good thing though is that his tap is on the ground. It's not up on the pole. So if I need to go to the tap, it's not gonna be that difficult because it's on the ground. You feel me? All right, so this looks like it's gonna be a refer to maintenance. He's missing a lot of channels. Pretty much, you're supposed to have channels from two all the way to 98. And the channels he's missing is from two to like 20. So, we're gonna refer to maintenance. I'm finna go in here, finish my test on my meter. And then we're gonna get on to the next job, man. So, the Cowboy game just came on. So, I'm probably gonna take a break, take a lunch, and at least listen to the Cowboys, man. You feel me? So we back at it. Right now I'm on lunch. I'm at Golden Chick listening to the Cowboy game. Hopefully they can pull it out. So after I get back from lunch, I get right back with you. All right, you two. So I'm back. We got another job. It's about 27 minutes away. So I'm finna head on out and I'll hit y'all up when I make it out there. All right, so we got to the customer's crib and they're saying that their internet keeps going in and out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change the wall plate and then change the ground block and hopefully that'll, you know, stabilize the signal. So we're gonna see, hopefully it works, man. All right, so now I'm on hold with dispatch, trying to get this rescheduled. So just bear with me and I'll be right back with y'all. Okay, so let me tell you what happened. So I'm back, I went to the customer's house. He was drive, telling me that drive, he was having slow computer. internet, right? Saying it was going in and out. I know it's kind of dark. Let me put these glasses on for a second so y'all can see me. All right, he was telling me he had slow this internet. Meaning it was going in and out, right? So I ran a test at the ground block and it failed at the ground block. Remember what I always tell y'all, the ground block is pretty much like an outlet that's outside that's coming from the tap with the line connected to it from the tap. So boom, I tried at the ground block, it failed. So I need to go to the tap. So I, tr I try to find a way to the tap. Mind you, it's dark outside and he has two trees and he has a tree in front of the tap and it's all, it's like some vines. So we're just going up to the tap. You can't even get to it. You can't get a ladder back there. So I told him, you know, we're gonna have to reschedule in the morning time where it's some light and you're gonna have to cut these trees down cause you know, we gotta have access to the tap. That's the only way we can get there. So, you know, he wasn't too happy about that. He starts complaining to me saying, you know, uh, why get why you guys can't cut the tree down but you know we're spectrum we don't really we don't you know we don't cut big trees down i don't have a chainsaw in my van you know but yeah man just another one of those days sometimes you're gonna get customers like that it is what it is so now we're going to the next job this might be the last job of the day so we're gonna see i'll hit y'all when i get there man all right youtube i'm back so this look like it's gonna be a no access. I know y'all can barely see me, but yeah, this is gonna probably be a no access cause he has an old line running, but it's running through some trees, just like the last job. So we pretty much had to tell him, same thing we told the last customer. You gotta cut your trees down and then we'll be back. So he said he wants to reschedule at six o'clock. So I'm finna go call dispatch and have him reschedule. I'll talk to y'all when I get back to the van. All right, so I'm back. So right now I'm sitting in the van, just like I was earlier, trying to reschedule for this customer. We're gonna see, can we get another job in? And, you know, hopefully it's something simple. 
I'll get right back with you. All right, so I'm back at the shop. Been a long day. It's about 10, 10. Your boy got some overtime. Got an hour overtime, because you know my shift is uh, from 10 to nine. So right now I'm gonna walk to this trash can, throw this trash away, hop into my car and go home, man, get some sleep. And we're gonna do a ride back again tomorrow. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace.